Welcome to part three of my four part series on the tractor preferences. In this video, I'm going to show you how to customize your screen layouts in Tractor and make your own personal screen layout so you can see exactly what you want to see on the screen. In Tractor's preferences, there's six sections of the preferences where you can make custom layouts and fully customize different screen sets for how you DJ. The six sections to create and edit your layouts are Dex Layout, Dex, Mixer, Global Settings, Browser Details, and Layout Manager. Here's what each section of the preferences does in detail. To create a layout in Tractor, you'll go to the Layout Manager. To create a new layout, click on the Add button. You can reorganize the order of your layouts by clicking on the Move Up or Move Down buttons, and you can rename your layouts by clicking on the Rename button. Once you've created your layouts, you can click on the name of the layout and customize it using the other five layout customization sections. In the Dex layout section, the deck flavor is what kind of deck that you'll be using. For each deck, deck A, B, C, and D, you can choose it to be a track deck, sample deck, or live input. A track deck is used to play whole songs, but can also be used to play loops and any other audio files. A sample deck is made to play clips of audio shorter than 48 seconds, and can play loops or one-shots. And a live input is used to route external audio sources into a deck and tractor. The deck layout section is where you can change the deck size. For each deck size, different things are showing or hidden in the deck. For example, micro view shows only the stripe and the play button. Essential view shows a larger waveform display and a track overview, but has minimal deck controls to make it easier in the eyes. An advanced mode has all the deck controls in Tractor's advanced panel for quick access, but takes up more screen real estate. If you're in advanced view, you can actually choose which advanced panel that you see underneath the decks. The move panel gives you controls for beat jump and loop editing. The cue panel gives you controls for triggering, editing, naming, and deleting cue points. And the grid panel gives you controls for editing Tractor's beat grids. If you want to show four decks, you can check the option Enable Decks C and D, and you'll have four decks showing. If you want to see the tempo fader inside of the decks, check the tempo fader box for each deck that you want the tempo fader shown. In the platter scope section, you can choose if you want to see the time code scope or platter in the decks or not, or if you want to have them minimized. If you choose off, the platter isn't showing. This is good if you're not using any time code control. If you choose minimize, the platter isn't showing, but it's easily accessible by clicking the maximize arrow inside the decks. This is good for DJs who sometimes use time code control, but not always. Choosing platter shows a sticker view of the deck. This is good for turntablists who use relative mode and use a sticker on their record to mark the location of the vinyl. Scope shows a picture of the time code scope. This will give you a good visual reference of the signal coming into Tractor from your turntable or CD player. In the Decks section, you can edit the info that's displayed inside of Tractor's decks and choose how the decks are displayed. In the Deck Heading section, you can edit what information you see at the top of the deck. Show Cover Art will show you the track's album artwork in the decks. Show Phase Meter switches Tractor's phase meter on or off, which is Tractor's way of visually mixing. Permanently show sample deck indicators switches the sample deck indicator slots on or off, allowing you to see the sample deck's cue, key lock, and effects indicators. Top, middle, bottom row will let you choose what info is stored in the decks heading. The top row is the biggest, so it's best to put the most important information at the top. In the miscellaneous section, you can edit the appearance of the decks. The grid mode will choose how bright the beat markers or transient markers are in the decks. Full will show bright beat markers. Dim will give you dimmed beat markers. And ticks will give you dots above where each beat marker is. And invisible will show you only the waveform with no beat markers. Also in the miscellaneous section, show minute markers will add a marker in the stripe view of the decks marking each minute of the track. Track end warning will make the entire deck blink red when there's a certain amount of time left in the track. You can set the time for the track end warning here. The play marker position is the red marker within the deck that will show you the current playback position within the track. 
At zero, the play marker will be at the beginning of the track. At 50, which is the default, the play marker will be in the middle. And then at 100, the play marker will be all the way to the right. The stripe view fit will switch the stripe view from the length of the timecode vinyl or CD to the length of the actual track that's loaded. The default zoom will determine how far a deck is zoomed in or out when you launch Tractor. The color mode gives you different color options for the deck's waveforms. Infrared is similar to the old Tractor Pro colors but more fiery. Spectrum is the new True Wave waveforms that are multicolored waveforms that are color coded due to frequency. X ray was the default Tractor Control S4 waveform look, and Ultraviolet gives you a blue waveform. The mixer section is where you can customize what you see in Tractor's mixer and how the mixer sounds and behaves. In the EQ selection, you can choose the EQ type. Tractor has four built-in internal mixer algorithms that you can choose from. The Classic Mixer has a classic three-band EQ. The P600 is an emulated Pioneer DJM 600. The NUO4 is an emulated Eckler NUO4 mixer, and the Zone is an emulated four-band Zone 92 mixer. In the filter section, you can choose from two different filter types. The latter filter is very similar to the Pioneer DJM 800 filter. This filter is also used in the Tractor Effects section. The Zone filter is an emulated Zone 92 filter, which is also used as a Filter 92 in the Effects section. In the Crossfader section, you can customize the Crossfader and choose how long your auto crossfades will be in cruise mode. The auto crossfade time slider adjusts the time it takes to auto crossfade between tracks in cruise mode and the smooth sharp slider adjusts the crossfader's curve. In the level section, you can control the master levels and tractor. If you want each track to be the same volume when you play it, turn on set auto gain when loading track. This will use tractor's auto gain values to adjust the internal gain for you so you don't have to mess with the gains on your DJ mixer. To prevent clipping in tractor, you can turn on enable limiter. This is recommended for people who mix using Tractor's internal mixer. If you're using an external mixer, it's best to turn this off and make sure your master levels stay out of the red for the best sound quality. Another setting that'll help you control your levels in Tractor is the headroom setting. This will give you more digital headroom and will help prevent you from having to adjust the master level knob. If you're only mixing two tracks, negative three dB is usually acceptable. If you're mixing four tracks or multiple samples, negative 9 dB is recommended. In the Mixer Layout section, you can choose what will be displayed in Tractor's Mixer section. EQ and Fader will show the EQ section and Volume Fader on Tractor's Mixer. Filter, Key, Q, Gain, Balance will show all of these in the Mixer section. Crossfader will show Tractor's Crossfader section, which allows you to adjust your monitor output, Q mix and assign the decks individually to the crossfader. In the browser details section, you can customize the browser section of your layouts. Show preview player will allow you to show Tractor's preview deck, which is used to pre-listen to tracks before you play them out in Tractor. Show cover art will display a cover art window in the lower left hand corner of the browser. Show playlist favorites will display shortcuts to your favorite playlists or folders on your computer. Show Track Info will give you a zoomed in version of whatever track is highlighted in your browser and it'll show you the artist and title of the song in bigger letters. Show Status Bar and Error Messages will display the bar that shows error message at the bottom of your browser. Allow Inline Editing and List Window will allow you to edit track names and info in the browser section by double clicking and typing. Currently this will only work in Tractor Playlists, the Explorer, and the Track Collection and won't work in the iTunes node. The font and font size menu will allow you to change the font and tractor and also change the size of the font. And the list row height will let you create more space between tracks in the browser to make it easier to read. The global section is a section at the top of the screen which gives you access to your effects, master clock, master levels, loop recorder, audio recorder, and more. Now by this time you should have your own customized tractor screen layout. In part four, we're going to be talking about how to set up your effects, recording, your global settings, and how to organize your own files inside of Tractor. Welcome to DubSpot. 
we believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, DubSpot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore DubSpot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.